place on line. This tool is useful to place any object on the line and also set with parameter. Here we have one line object and one satin object. If we press right click, the property will open, and if we press left click, the property will apply to the object. Here, you can see, all parameters are turned off. First, select the line object, then select the satin object, with the shift key, and press, place on line button. Here, you can see, the objects are placed on the line. Let's see again. Select the object. And open, place on line parameter, and click on, mirror alternative motif button. And press, place on line button. Here, you can see, the objects are placed alternately, on the line. Let's see again. Select the object. And open, place on line parameter. Turn off, the mirror alternative motif button, and click on, mirror alternative motif at same point button. And press, place on line button. Here, you can see, the objects are placed alternately, at the same point, on the line. Let's see again. Select the object. And open, place on line parameter. Now, if we want to, make the object smaller, according to the percentage. Here, we will set, motif gradient 95%, and gradient threshold 50%. And press, place on line button. We have added a 50%, gradient threshold, so the object will convert smaller, up to 50%. Now, if we want to, make the object smaller or larger, in random size, and here, we will set random factor 15, and we will add, single style in the line parameters. Select the object, and open, place on line parameter. Now, turn off, mirror alternative motif at same point button, and turn on scale to fit button. Select the object, and press, place on line button. Here, you can see, object placed on line, with random size. Now, we will place the object, on any other stitch, instead of first stitch, on the line. Select the object and press, place on line button. Here, you can see, the object is not properly set, with the line. Now, we will copy the line object, and set an object, and take it down. Select the object, and open, place on line parameter. Now, we will set, the number of stitches, in start at stitches menu, from where we want to start. Then press, place on line button. Here, you can see, the object is properly set, with the line. Here, we have one line object, and one circle object. Select the object, and open, place on line parameter. Now, if we want to, place object on the line, with different angle. So, we will set parameter, in motif gradient angle. Then press, place on line button. Here, you can see, object placed on line, with different angle. Here, we have one stipple fill object, and one sequin object. 
First select stipple fill object. And open, place on line parameter. Turn on, gravitational fall button. Then select sequin object, with shift key. And press, place on line button. Here, you can see, this will place, that single selected object, in gravity fall style. Let's see again. Here, we have one line object, and one satin object. Select the object. You can also use shortcut key, Alt plus F2, to apply, place on line parameter. If, we want to skip stitches, between objects. Select, Align Object. Go to Object Menu, and click on Name button. Now, we will add, minus 2 in Name button. Select the object. And press, Alt plus F2 shortcut key. Here, you can see that, object has skipped two stitches, and placed that object on line. Let's see again. Select, Align Object. Go to Object Menu, and click on Name button. Here, we will add minus zero. Select both objects. And press, Place on Line button. Here, you can see, the object placed on line, with particular stitches. Let's see again. Select both objects. And, we can also open, place on line parameter, by pressing Shift plus Alt plus F2 shortcut key. Here, we will turn on, Mirror Alternative Motif button. And press, Alt plus F2 shortcut key. Here, you can see, objects placed on line, with an alternative style, and also placed, on particular stitches.